everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sophie Hannah here and I hope you guys are staying safe and are super well. So this feels really weird sitting down and filming a YouTube video because I feel like I haven't done one for quite a few weeks now. Obviously we've been away but I am back and I thought I would do a hair video. You guys are super invested in my hair. It's not great, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you saw my vlog, I think it was like maybe five weeks ago, had a bit of a hair disaster at a hair salon and I had a lot of breakage. I mean, my hair is growing, like it's growing really well, but I've got a lot of breakage and I'm really trying not to add heat anymore. I'm letting it air dry. Um, I'm using lots of moisturizing products now. It got very dry in the sun. Um, I'm only washing my hair twice a week. So obviously I can't really do much with my hair at the moment. So I thought I would show you guys how I'm wearing my hair and a couple of amazing products to get. And like, especially if you any of you have damaged hair, it is like, you get up in the morning, you're just like, oh, my hair looks like shit. It's making me feel like shit. I'm not having a happy hair day. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like you want to do something to your hair where... It makes you feel better, basically. You're not going to feel 100% because your hair's looking shit. Like, I have so much breakage, lots of flyaways. It's just, yeah, it's not that great. But I'm not washing it for another few days. So, anyway, by the way, I just want to say why I'm not washing it. It's actually better to not wash your hair as often because it means that your scalp is producing, like, your natural oils and stuff and it really helps your hair because the natural oils basically just help your hair um, grow uh, better and stronger and it just helps repair it so it's a little bit greasy but I'm going with it I'm going with it so yeah I just wanted to show you guys how I've been wearing my hair quite a lot lately because I haven't been able to do anything with it but I wanted to show you guys yeah how I'm doing it what products I use so let's get going so, it's a slick back pony. It's super simple, but I wanted to show you some amazing products that help you get that slick back pony look, especially if you've got a lot of breakage, like me, down your parting. So, first off, if you are gonna comb or brush your hair, make sure you get a wide tooth comb. If I'm honest with you, I've not really been brushing and combing my hair. It's not really recommended, especially if you're like me and when you're brushing it, it's breaking off. So it's best, best off to just not really brush it. But if you are, use a wide tooth comb. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying really not to brush or comb it that often. And if I am, I'm doing it very, very gently um, and very slowly just to get any little knots out. But obviously, yeah, this, this does pull on my hair. So yeah, I try not to do it too often. And then, slick back pony. You're going to want to get a silk scrunchie or hairband. Do not put any, like, elastics like this on your hair. Don't put any of the actual little elastics. You want to get a silk scrunchie or hairband. The silk against your hair is very gentle. And also, you don't want to be tying it too tight. Obviously, I'm doing a ponytail. So, you kind of don't want to do a ponytail too often. I'd say maybe wear a pony for half the week, leave it down for the rest, or maybe do a plait if you can. Like, I can just about do a plait in my hair, just. Um, so, yeah, you kind of want to mix it up. You don't want to do the same hairstyle because it will kind of put pressure on the same bit of your hair, and obviously that can cause breakage as well. So that's why I say get a silk scrunchie or hairband, but also don't tie it too tight. So, as you can see, I've pretty much already got a middle part in, but it is a bit scraggly so i'm just going to grab some water having a bottle of water spray is really good whenever you're doing any hairstyles you can grab these little bottles from amazon please work here we go and then i'm just going to grab a comb and use the metal end and just make sure i've got a nice strong part in but also because i've got so many flyaways i'm just making sure i'm parting my flyaways on the right side um like so okay and then what we're going to do is get our scrunchie and just pull our hair back and just loosely tie it like so 
and then we are gonna work with these flyaways. So guys, if you've got a lot of flyaways like me from growth, I'm gonna see if I can just flick them back up so you can see the water's kind of keeping them down. But I've got a lot of breakage that is now regrowing, especially around the front as well. I've got all these little baby hairs now growing. I mean, it's great that it's growing, but obviously it's annoying that they're all flicked up. So personally, I don't really like that because it means you can see the breakage in my hair. So you guys all need this product. It is the e.l.f. XX Gen Atkin Hair and Brow Pomade. It's not that good on your brows, if I'm honest with you. It doesn't really hold mine in place. But on your hair, this is great. And I'm just going to come in close and show you the brush that comes with it. So this is the brush on the end. It's like kind of like a plasticky, very sharp, spiky brush. And it really helps tame all those flyaways. So, all I'm going to do is literally comb them down, down my centre parting. I'm going to do one side and then I'll show you the comparison. And I like to use it around the front of my hair as well. The comb is so, so good. It's very precise. And it's very, very gentle on your hair as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this side and then I'll show you the difference in this product. It is so good. Like already, look at the difference. So this side has been tamed with the hair pomade and this other side hasn't. And obviously you can see all those flyaways. I'm gonna do the other side so you guys can see. The only thing is you do have to keep like dipping it in as you go. Also, if you don't really like the product that's in here, you could just use hair gel, or if you don't want to invest in this product, you could just use hair gel, but I actually find this product to be quite soft. It doesn't dry hard like hair gel. It's quite, you can see it's quite shiny as well. It's quite nice. Oh my God, my roots are so long. I never let them go this long, but I'm not going to be bleaching my hair anytime soon. I feel like I'm going to have the root look for a while. I might actually do my shadow root again. Um, yeah, I'm having my hair cut in a few weeks, but I'm going to do a video next week, hopefully, with you guys on like how maybe I should get my hair cut because it desperately needs cutting. And I don't know whether to just do a shorter bob or do a pixie cut. I don't know. A mullet, who knows? We'll see. But anyway, I've just tamed pretty much all of those ooh, flyaways there we go look at that guys honestly you need this product it is so freaking good i'm obsessed with it and it just makes your hair super shiny cool so once you've done that you can then take your hair out um i'm just going to go back in at the front and do these bits again now so i actually have a lot of split ends even on this section of my hair. So sometimes I like to just gently comb that pomade through these side bits. And I've got, this kind of acts as my comb, if that makes sense. But it's very, very soft and flexible comb. It's not like pulling my hair out or anything like that, which is great. If you didn't want to use the comb, you could actually just use the back of this, which is flat but I find the comb actually really gets in to all those little split ends that you've got and flattens them. Okay, we're looking good. Then I'm gonna take the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Miracle Hair Elixir. I freaking love this. Just a little squeeze, rub it in your hands, and then I'm just gonna gently kind of rub my hair down and then put my hands like behind my ears and start going into that ponytail style. This adds shine, it adds heat protection, not that I'm adding any heat to my hair. 
It's infused with tropical blend of coconut, papaya, mango seed and prickly pear and hyaluronic acid. And it's great for taming flyaways. You can even add volume with this. But I love the fact that it also adds shine. So you're going to get a really nice shiny, slick back look with your hair. And then if you've got nails, I highly recommend using your nails to kind of comb through your hair because obviously I'm not I'm avoiding using a brush and a comb at the moment so then we're gonna grab the hair into a little ponytail like this and then silk scrunchie don't tie it too tight I'm just gonna do twice round like that and then got to be glued hairspray. It's amazing. I spray it on my hands and then go in on my hair because I don't want to put too much on. It's just like a little bit of extra kind of hold for those flyaways. Like so. And it also I feel like it just spreads the product out on your hair. And I've got a few extra little flyaways at that point at the back here. Can you see this one? It's so sad, but it's growing. So I'm just gonna go in and comb that down. I've got quite a lot of short bits at the back that don't actually go into my ponytail. So again, a bit of spritz on the hand and flatten at the back. I'm just gonna re-pop that scrunchie in. So as you can see, you, I don't really need a brush or anything for this. It's all about the products really that help tame those flyaways, but also add shine to your hair. And that is pretty much it guys. It's super simple, but it is all about the product. But also my hair doesn't look hard and it doesn't feel hard. It feels soft and shiny, but it's gonna stay in place all day. And then to finish it off, because I feel like I've got a bit of a pea head and my head is so small, I like to add big chunky earrings to this slick back look. Yes, this is a vibe. So yeah, this is basically how I've been wearing my damaged hair. Um, and the great thing about this is I try not to sleep with the hairband in because obviously I don't want to put pressure on that same point you know, 24 hours a day, like five days a week. So I actually just take the scrunchie out and then I sleep in a silk hair wrap, like a hair turban. Let me go and get my one and show you which one it is. This is from Silk London and this is my silk hair wrap. I used to have a purple one, but I um, left it on holiday. So I ordered a new one and I got a pink one and it's so cute. So yeah, this honestly guys is so good to sleep in. You can use a silk pillowcase, but I find this works way better. And yeah, you just pop this on your head and I take out my silk scrunchie and I sleep with this. And then the next day, my hair, like at the front here, the, the products tend to hold quite well. So all I do is spritz with water, maybe add a little bit of hair oil again, and I just go back straight into this little slick pony and I'm good to go. I'll pop a link below, guys, if you wanna um, get yourself a silk turban. It's honestly such a good investment for your hair. Um, even if your hair's not damaged, it's just a good product to sleep in, so you're preventing damage. Um, but yeah, guys, super simple, super easy. Just wanted to give you a bit of a hair update and how I'm styling my damaged hair. I mean, it's so quick and easy to do. It's not like one of my favorite hairstyles, but yeah, a few little hair tips there. If any of you guys have got damaged hair and are feeling a bit like, mm, and like sad about your hair, like you can still wear it and you can still hide the damage as well, which is kind of what I, what I like because I don't want to be reminded every time I look in the mirror that my hair is damaged. So wearing it like this, I actually feel like I've got it in a style and I feel confident and it looks really chic and glam, um, but yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I've popped all links below to the products that I've used. Any questions on my hair or any tips or anything, then, yeah, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Um, I've got, I hopefully got quite a fun video next week. I'm waiting for 
something to arrive to help me decide what hair to get, well, how to get my hair cut, basically. But yeah, take care, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you very soon. Peace out.